If you've experienced common oiling issues in your 2001 to 2019 6.6 .6 liter Duramax, stick around, because today on XDP Installs, Mike will show you how to avoid wear and tear on your valve train and even avoid failures altogether with XDP rocker arm shafts. All right, so we're gonna show you how to switch over your rocker arm shafts over to your XD385s. I'm gonna start by disassembling the, uh, the old rocker shaft assembly. Take off the send. And what I like to do with this is just so you don't flip this particular one, take your marker and put a little mark on the inside there. For me, that's, I know, goes inward. And as you start taking them apart, keep these in order. You do not want to mix anything up. It saves for a headache later. I like putting them on a the mat. You can clean now or you can clean these later on. All depends on what you want to do. These obviously aren't too bad. So I'm just going to set them to the side. These sha uh, rocker shaft mounts are a little bit harder to mix up due to their shape so you don't really have to worry about marking those but you still want to keep those in order now this center one is actually pinned so you could either continue working in this fashion or I like to do is just start from the other end Sometimes they are a little stubborn. Same thing. Just mark the center side. Set that at the end. Now these shafts have an issue with oiling from the factory. Um, due to the design, when the rocker arm actually starts motion and starts closing down, it actually shuts off the oil galley or oil passage and cuts off oil supply for a brief brief second there and I'll show you on the new ones when I get there the difference between the new and the old shafts All right, now for the center one Loosen up these two 10 millimeter bolts. Get this deflector shield out. Now we're down to the roll pin. She can take needle nose. Try to squeeze the roll pin together to release start pulling out now I'll come right off all right now that we have the rocker shaft disassembled I'm going to show you a few key points between the stock unit and the XD385 as you can see the differences between both oil passages the XD3 to 5 keeps more consistent oiling through the range of motion of the rocker arm versus the stock unit actually cutting off oil supply in that range of motion. The second point I would like to show you is the end caps actually using a pipe plug versus the stock units, which I'm going to call freeze out plug. The XD385 is also made out of 4130 chromoly, which is a lot harder material, reduces wear, and also keeps valve train components running more consistent. All right, now we're gonna assemble our valve train with the new XD385. Now you're gonna to wanna to place the shaft in front of you in the same orientation as you had the other one, because you don't wanna mix things up again. I like to start from the center. Just gonna make sure everything's clean, nothing in there. And also just put a little bit of oil on that shaft and spread it around not want to force anything on there. It will be a tighter fit, but 
shouldn't have to really bang anything around. I like to do is just slide the bolt through and the roll pin hole is just about lined up. Now we have the bolt in there. We got to align the rocker shaft mount with the groove for the roll pin. Just you're going to eyeball it, get as close as you possibly can. Just grab your needle nose and roll pin, squeeze together. might have to give it just a light little tap. There's a little bit of a tight fit. Now that's what we seated. We can continue assembling the, the rocker arms in either order. You can either start on the right and left side. It doesn't really matter as long as you're just not mixing anything up. Now, as you can see, I'm obviously oiling every one of these rocker arms and just making sure the shafts are well lubricated as well. This just helps for assembly and for later on when you go start the engine, nothing starting dry. Take the bolt out, remove this mount as well. making sure everything's in the proper orientation. Just do not want to run into an issue when you go put these shafts back into the truck that you might have mixed up a intake or exhaust valve and you got to take them back out and swap things around. Same my mark I said I point them towards the inside. You could do whatever you feel is best. You can mark every rocker, you can mark every mount. Just whatever you feel comfortable with to know you have everything in order. Slide our last bolt in. Just give it a look, make sure everything is in place. We're looking good. Last thing I'll have to install is the deflector. Just put both 10 millimeter bolts back in there. Just grab my ratchet and socket. Run these down. This also could be done later in the truck you choose to I am just doing this now so it's over and done with all right and that's it that's the assembly of an XE 385 so when it comes time to do some top-end work or rebuild your Duramax don't just swap out your rocker arm shafts with stock units where you can avoid issues and add durability with XDP rocker arm shafts Shop XDP Rocker Arm Chefs and get what you need for your Duramax at XDP.com today.